Hey guys, welcome to Real Men Get It Done. Today's episode, I'm trying to actually remedy a situation that I'm having with my circuit breaker. So stay tuned so I can jump into it, see if we can get this thing fixed and get it back up and running so it stops tripping every time we turn on our microwave. Real Men Get It Done. Okay, let's jump right into it. Excuse the mess, it's not really a mess, it's actually organized chaos. But right before COVID hit, we were in, attempting to have a garage sale in our neighborhood. And so I was getting everything organized to have that garage sale and then COVID hit. So that's been postponed. So that's kind of all of my organized crazy chaos and stuff. A garage actually is pretty, pretty clean, you know, for a garage. Uh, but anyway, let's get back into the video. So what's been happening on a particular circuit breaker number 29 it keeps tripping every time we turn on the microwave now what it says here is that it's only being ran by the microwave so i'm not sure why the microwave itself is tripping that circuit breaker so when i looked online what i saw as some of the issues could be the microwave itself it could be um a, a wire that's sprayed on the microwave or it could be the actual breaker needs to be changed so I'm hoping it's just as simple as swapping out the breaker uh, because our home is fairly new. It's only four years old. So I don't foresee uh, how something crazy could have happened with the microwave. Things have happened, but I'm hoping it's a quick remedy. That's only, you know, the breaker was $4. So I'm hoping it's a quick remedy versus having to call an electrician to come and try to figure out what may be going on. So as I go into this project, I disclaimer, 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 I am not an electrician but I'm handy working around my house. And for this, since I'm gonna turn off all the power to be safe, I think it's uh, worth trying to see if swoop, swapping out the breaker can remedy the situation. If not, then I'll have to move forward with the next step of actually calling an electrician to come out and check and see what's going on. Uh, so let's see if we can get this situation remedied to get the microwave back up and running. Um, but I will show you what it actually has been doing. Um, so let's get into it. All right, so we see that the stove is on, it's blinking, the microwave light and stuff is on, and this is what happens as soon as you turn on the microwave. Watch it, because everything's gonna just trip. You see that? It tripped and everything turned off. So the microwave and the stove are on the same breaker, uh, and it's been tripping. Uh, it's been doing it for the past couple months, but now here lately, it would do it every uh, so often, but now as soon as you do it today, it's happening. So I was like, okay, let me go try to see if I can fix it. Haven't done anything too new here that should be drawing so much power. I thought about the other outlets that are out, and excuse my kitchen, uh, kids haven't cleaned it today, uh, but thought about everything else that's out. Um, the computers aren't drawing that much power, uh, so not sure what else could be doing it. The refrigerator is still on, so I think definitely these are on different outlets i know they are they're on different power outlets so everything should be contained right here so let's get into it and see if we can get it fixed and back up and working properly Okay, so that was the switcheroo. Again, here's the old one. I don't smell it being singed or anything. Uh, so again, I'm not sure what's going on on the inside, but got the other one swapped in. And before I put the put it, the power back on, I'm going to switch it on. Again, be very, very careful when you're dealing with any electricity. I think current is still flowing through um, even when power is out. So you still have to be very careful in some capacity. Um, it's not of course live but you know you just got to be careful when dealing with electricity it's a lot of voltage so i'm going to swap this on really quickly and see if it remedies the situation for the microwave and then we'll put the faceplate back on and that'll be it so let's see okay, very careful not to touch anything but the power button okay Ok, 
Okay, so it says our power has been restored. I'll obviously light coming back on. Let's see. It works. All right, we got power. We got both of them on. Let's do a little test run. Not the cause of it, something else going on. All right, guys, this is day number two of our microwave fiasco. So, come to find out, it looks like the microwave may be kaput. And I don't have time to try to troubleshoot and fix it just yet. I am going to, though, once I take it down, give me some time to do it, but we're in need of a microwave now. So, I was able to pick up one um, for under $250 at Lowe's that can go in. And then, if I get that one fixed, what I'll probably end up doing is just selling that one at our garage sale that we'll eventually have. Um, but we're gonna swap it out and see if we're back up and running because we desperately need a microwave. Crazy how much uh, microwave you do in a given day and then find out you really, really need a microwave. So uh, day two, we're gonna get it done. <laughs> hey guys, okay, we finally got it done. We got the new microwave installed. We tested it. Come here, bud. Let's test it to make sure it doesn't trip. Okay, so before, as soon as we started it, it would just fritz out and blow the fuse. Now the new microwave, we just tested it. Took teamwork to get it up. It's a similar model from Frigidaire and we got it done. So, whew. It's a little bit of work, but I had to have my kids help me. But that is the complete cycle. Again, testing to see if we could remedy the situation with a quick fuse swap. That didn't work, so troubleshooting. Come to find out it was the actual microwave. So I will check the other one, as I mentioned, just to see if we can get it back up and running. Maybe, maybe not. Um, but that's it for tonight. Real men get it done. Peace and blessings. We got our microwave back up and running. Till next time, guys. Peace.